My name is Sean Cummins, Chagas Green Acres Calf to Beef Programme Advisor. Excellent quality silage is required on Calf to Beef farms and a DMD target of at least 72 is needed. Where silage quality falls below this level, additional concentrated supplementation is going to be required over the winter months to ensure our animals achieve their target at daily weight gains. Really we're aiming for a target of 0.6 of a kilo a day for our steer and heifer wanings and we're looking at 0.9 for our finishing heifers and over a kilo a day for our steers. Where the 0.6 of a kilo target is coming from, it's coming from work on Grange which found this was the optimum level of performance over the winter months to ensure animals may juice to compensate regrow in the spring when they return back out to grass. And here in County Mayo the Rowans are doing an excellent job in terms of silage quality. Last year first cut silage on the farm was harvested on the 14th of May and this resulted in a crop with a DMD of 76.7. Second cut crops were harvested six weeks later after being grown with eight units of artificial lain and slurry which provide a P and K to the crop. A key focus of the Chagas Green Acres Calf to Beef programme is improving efficiency at farm level and one of the areas we've been looking at is the management of animals over the winter months. We've seen across the 12 farms we're working with that silage quality has improved from 69.5 DMD up to 73 between 2019 and 2020. What this essentially means at farm level is that we can reduce the quantity of concentrates fed over the winter period without having a negative impact on animal performance. In terms of the wanings, we're going to see a reduction in concentrates of about 0.5 of a kilo a day, moving from 1.3 kilos back to 0.8, and our finishing stock is going to fall by a kilo a day, moving from 5.5 back to 4.5. On a farm here like the Rowans, that's essentially going to mean that the quantity of concentrates required to carry 60 weighing and 60 finishing stock over the winter period is going to fall by approximately 10 tonne or a 280 euro per tonne cost and it's going to save the farm about 2,800 euro over the winter period. In an era when we're focusing on environmental consciousness and it's becoming the here and now, we have to really focus on achieving the target of weight gains on farm level. Where these targets are not met, we're going to see an older age of slaughter or a lighter carcass weight, and both of these are going to have negative impacts on the carbon emissions from our beef industry. Hello, my name is Austin Callaghan, a livestock advisor based in Chagas, Claremorris. It's very important to make quality silage um, for all groups of livestock and it's important that these cattle perform over the winter and in that situation we'd need to make silage in the 70 plus dry matter digestibility and uh, it's even more so important in the West Vernon because our cattle are housed for approximately five months, 150 days and if the cattle aren't performing over that period that's a huge disadvantage to you and cattle will not leave money in this situation. How we go about making this quality silage um, firstly, we need to have the sward grazed out well, either the previous back end or graze it in late March. So we graze the sward down to four centimetres. After that, we'll apply our slurry up to a maximum of 3,000 gallons per acre. The slurry will provide five to 10 units of nitrogen per thousand gallons, and that's dependent on the weather. So if we get nice, mild uh, weather, uh, you'll get a good usage of nitrogen out of that slurry. So at, say, 2,000 gallons per acre, you could be getting between 10 and 20 units of nitrogen out of that slurry at 3,000 gallons, 25 units of nitrogen um, from that two to 3,000 gallons of slurry. Our phosphorus is five units per 1,000 gallons, so at 3,000 gallons per acre, you're given approximately 15 units of phosphorus per acre, and our potassium is 30 units per 1,000 gallons, and it's again, two to 3,000 gallons, you're given it 60 to uh, 90 units of uh, potassium per acre. After that, we add our fertilizer, and we're aiming to get up to 100 units of nitrogen. So. From our bag fertilizer, we'll be applying 80 to 100 units of uh, chemical nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium as your soil indexes indicate. So we close the silage in the first week of April and our silage should be ready for cutting um, in the region of the 20th of May up until the first week of June. And we're aiming to say for 70 DMD plus quality silage. Um, the units of nitrogen should be used at two units of day. So if we're putting on 100 units, they should be used in 50 days. In real good weather, where the growth gets real good, that can be used up to three units a day. So farmers tend to over worry maybe about the nitrogen and the prolonging the cutting days and with the hope of nitrogen is gone. But the key is to get the silage made in good weather. So if the weather comes good and your tinker nitrogen is gone, we'd be advising to cut as opposed to hanging on, all right? And um, if you get the silage made in good dry weather, and get a nice wilt on it and some little nitrogen left in the silage crop isn't that critical all right as opposed to making it wet weather and having some nitrogen left in the silage then it's harder to preserve and form a quality silage so once you have your silage cut 
obviously you'll look at the number of bales you have, you'll look at the number of cattle you're going to keep over the winter, you'll do a calculation of the silage requirement and you'll close your second cut, the number of acres you require to make up the balance and produce enough silage for the five months winter.